Hey guys, Steve from Valor Replicas. So second video in a reveal of my NASA Rocketeer uh, setup. And in the previous video, I showed you sort of the hardware side, which is the helmet and the, uh, the rocket pack. And what I wanted to cover now is the sort of the soft goods side of thing, the suit itself. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I didn't intend to go all the way to a full uh, space suit or flight suit. Uh, but once I had done the helmet and the rocket pack, it was sort of inevitable that I wanted to kind of complete an entire outfit. I was looking for a particular aesthetic based on a couple of different things. One is the look and feel of some of the beautiful spacesuits that we see in, in modern films today. Um, some of sort of the modern aesthetic. And two, the look and feel of the uh, SpaceX spacesuit that they are using in, in some of the SpaceX launches. But I didn't want to sew it myself. I couldn't sew it myself. But I thought that I could sort of piece this together uh, by buying some sort of found parts. And I was able to find some really, really great textile-based motorcycle gear that had, uh, with some modifications, just the right look that I wanted to, uh, to kind of capture. I thought the best way to sort of show you this entire outfit is to just do a full suit up right in front of you. And uh, first, I want to show you all the components of what's involved in this. So here's a quick overview of all the components of the, uh, the Rocketeer flight suit. Um, so we have a set of, uh, boots. This center piece is a, uh, it's a chest piece that, uh, the, the breathing system connects into, uh, my helmet, which I've shown you before, um, a couple of gloves and then, uh, pants and a jacket. Um, I was super happy finding these, uh, pants and jacket combo. Um, again, they've got sort of a very, like tactical modern feel again a lot of the same kind of like materials and textures that you might find in a hollywood suit um i spent a bit of time on etsy finding some nasa appropriate um patches to kind of make it look real i've even got apparently i'm heading to mars so i've got a mission patch that i, I attached onto there i'm going to suit up entirely and and give you a look at what this all uh feels like so Okay, so I started with the pants because you didn't need to see me change uh, my pants. Um, I love these. Like, they are super comfortable. Um, they are all textile-based. Uh, you know, like, like, I looked at some, like, leather motorcycle gear, and, like, leather doesn't make a lot of sense for NASA, and I just love the way these look. I had to shorten them because I'm short. We'll do the boots. And, again, uh, these are also... Um, they just feel like space boots. Um, these are great. So... Yeah, we'll just uh, step into those and zip them up. So lower portion is on, pants and boots. Uh, next thing is the jacket. And before I put the jacket on, um, when you're flying around the upper atmosphere, you probably shouldn't have uh, skin exposed. So I found this, um, this simple head covering that kind of covers my my neck uh, when I have the costume on. So uh, I love this coat. Um, it fits like a glove. It's really, really lightweight. It's uh, again, not leather, it's textile and it's all perforated. So um, air just flows through it, which means uh, as I'm wearing this costume, um, I'm hoping I'm not gonna overheat too much. Like that. Yeah. Uh, next thing is is the rocket. So, um, so unlike my Rocketeer pack, which just has a couple of straps across the chest, I wanted um, a harness system that looked like a NASA or a, a, a flight suit harness system, which is one that goes down over through the legs and through the back. Um, you know, if you need to rescue a pilot, uh, and and I found out that that uh, harness system is very similar to. Uh, really affordable safety harnesses that you can buy on Amazon, which is what I bought. So it's a little more work to put on. It's always a little terrifying the first couple seconds that I'm holding this until you get that first clasp closed. Here we go. There we go. And then... Um, got these like straps that go through the legs like this and again this is just a, like a safety harness um, that like construction guys might use but it looks a lot like um, an Air Force um, flight harness 
I wanted something uh, white and hard, like uh, like armor or something mechanical uh, on my chest, uh, just to sort of extend the look of the rocket pack. Um, but I wanted to make sense. So I came up with this guy. And the idea is that um, this is, you know, some sort of like a breathing apparatus. Um, you'll see the same uh, two breathing uh, fittings that'll go into the back of my helmet. Um, so again, this might be something that is like recirculating oxygen uh, for the person wearing the flight suit. And to attach it, I've just got um, really strong magnets on the inside and on my chest. So it just snaps into place like that. Next thing. Oh, the gloves. Um, I'm really, really proud of the gloves. So the gloves began as, uh, as motocross gloves. But I also wanted to make this look a little bit more. I didn't just want to have gloves like, you know, like pulled up over my sleeves. Because real flight suits have, um, have a seal between the glove and the rest of the suit because it's a pressurized suit. So I extended the glove with a little bit more fabric. And in, uh, on my 3D printer, I printed out these locking mechanisms that look very similar to the, um, the aluminum locking rings that you would see in a real astronaut suit. So as I pull this up, the magnets grab this and lock this into place. And same with the other. And the red and the blue is a, a very traditional NASA to have red on the right and blue on the left. So um, again, it makes it feel more like a flight suit and less like a piece of uh, uh, motorcycle gloves. So on the back of the helmet, um, I've attached these, um, these really lightweight, these are actually from a, a refrigerant cooling line uh, that I bought. And then there's magnets in the back that just allow these to snap into the back of these two fittings. And then when I stick this on, I'll connect them into the, the two fittings on my front and I've got my whole breathing system figured out. So. Connect like that. Kind of got to do it by feel. Yeah, there we go. Now I can breathe. And then lastly, to ignite my rocket, um, I've got this little trigger mechanism that just um, has Velcro and some elastic and stretches over my glove. Yeah, like that. So when I push this button, I get my rocket effect. So that's it. Um, that is a full flight suit. Um, yeah, I love how this looks. It's very comfortable to wear. Thank you, Jamie Hicks, for uh, getting me going on this insane project. So that is a full suit up of my Rocketeer, NASA-based Rocketeer suit. Thank you so much. Valor Replicas, signing out.